brother Ron Carter, also known as R2C2 Mainstream Artist. You are watching We All Be TV, News Stream Dixie for the 21st century. Can you dig it? job I've had in my adult life was working for Hollywood. I got it. Yeah. They really, really hate straight black men out there. I got it. I got it. Gay, they love you. I got to ask you this. I got to ask you this. I'm glad you brought that up. You, are you segue that? Judge Mathis have a show called the Mathis Family Matters show. He has an openly gay song on the show and he got a, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, I believe this year. To me, it's like they replaced they replaced you with him. Like he agreed to play ball. Well, they didn't because his ratings are still at number 47, 46. But how they just number you one. Should you should have a walk of fame. Because I was standing for manhood. And uh well, I don't want to talk about the young bro. Well, he's young to me, but anyway. I was running the number one and number two syndicated show in the country. I was beating Oprah most weeks of the year. Wow. And we were in the same section. It was me, Judy, Oprah, and Dr. Phil. And I beat her the last four years almost every damn week. So did you hear about superstar Joe Brown? No, they tried to do everything to keep my ratings down. Every time I started beating Judy, they started changing the rating schedules. Like right here in the Memphis area, they've got a duopoly for her where there is a station that carries the CBS stuff. And then there is another station that carries CBS syndication. So what happens is if anybody records her, and plays the tape back in 48 hours, she gets double the rating. So in Memphis, she gets four times the rating, but they refused to exercise that option for me, so I didn't beat her. So I got one time the rating, she got four times the ratings. So I still was beating her, and they didn't want to hear it. So I'm not surprised they gave that to Mathis. I mean, I think it's boring and insipid. I don't want to talk about him, but you know I can't deal I mean, with that gang banging shit at all. But judge, like like you said, you had one of the top shows in in in, in your arena, and and to me, you not my I mean, arena, you, not my arena. Out of all the daytime syndicated shows, as likely as not, I was number one, and that included beating Judy. Right. If you had talked about syndicated shows, including Wheel of Fortune. It was Wheel of Fortune, Judge Judy, and Joe Brown running one, two, three, or the ratings would change. So I'd be one, she'd be two, and they'd be three. But they weren't going to tell you that because right. there is an A list and a B list and a C list in Hollywood, but the paparazzi doesn't put it together. They get the list from the studio. So paparazzi mm -hmm. after paparazzi would come up, try to flash me. People say, well, why do you want him? So, man, he got the number one TV show in the country. Him? Who is he? Well, we don't have him on the list. So, well, that's the point. They're trying to down him because he's a man, a real man. And, you know, and, and there uh, were and, others. Yeah, with well, the math that he, he definitely not a bigger. I mean, I mean, he's not. You got even the the real life narrative of you, Judge. It's larger than life, and you got the charisma, and you got the gravitas. I don't understand. And I mean, I'm not knocking him for having a gay son, but I think it's interesting that he got an openly it's gay son. It's not about it's not about making money. Hollywood mm -hmm. has a specific agenda to screw up the traditional family because too many of the lesbians who are out there think being married is a form of slavery. So I heard them plot this when I was still at UCLA back in the '60s. They'd mm -hmm. get up in the parks where they had sound systems and they'd talk about how they were going to do it over and over and over again. And we ought to look at them because they did it well. They were successful and they've achieved uh, 
their aims well and they've got the population thinking they're in the majority or at least half of the people when actually they're around four or four and a half percent of the country's population. Mm -hmm. Some places they don't even come up to 2%. So what happens is that you have a thing where at best one half percent of the population is tranny. One mm percent -hmm. is lesbian. One and a half percent is homosexual male. And the balance that can range from two and a half to maybe four and a half percent, depending upon where it is, is bisexual. And see, like I said, some of the gay crowd doesn't even like this because they say we aren't for the destruction of masculinity. We just have freak sex practices. Right. This is Brother Ron. I am asking you all to do me a big favor. Think about supporting the We All Be movement. Your donation is tax deductible. The We All Be Group Incorporated is a recognized 501c3. And I'm just asking you all because I want to keep on bringing y'all quality work uh, through the way that I know how to do best. And uh, I'm going to sing my praises and toot my horn. A lot of y'all were not hip to Dick Gregory until Brother Ron brought him on the We All Be platform, until that Django review we did. Y'all seen another side of Judge Joe Brown, and Judge Joe Brown's message has been amplified. But it was We All Be that brought Judge Joe Brown to y'all back in 2014. And so many others, and we covered so many things. So help us out so we can help you all. Peace. Peace.